Nothing. Just a small earthquake. Miss already told me what happened to you last night. Is there anything I can do to help? No. We can fend for ourselves. And I don't have time for that science center anymore. But I thought science was an important part of your life. What you don't realize, Dukes, is that brothers like me don't need science. We've got to think more about how to survive. Anyway... <laughs> Good morning. Engage autopilot. <laughs> I know that clip is just so wild. But in Spider Man's defense, he indeed does like to hang out with the homeboys. As you can see here in Wakanda, Peter is making himself very comfortable getting his ro getting his hair rolled in corn rolls, aka box braids. Hang with the homeboys. <laughs> you can see. From the look of Takala's face, he is clearly disappointed with him. <laughs> I don't know if maybe they had this conversation prior to him coming to Wakanda, like, hey, Peter, Peter, Clark, <laughs> don't do anything stupid. <laughs> and here he goes, he's getting his hair braided. <laughs> and Peter's like, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> You're not getting your hair braided. <laughs> I don't, I don't think Peter's a bad dude. You know what I'm saying? I just think he just, you know what I'm saying? He thought it looked cool. But guess what, Peter? You'll never be as wavy as Norman Osborn. Never. Get that through your skull. Hey, welcome back to Saturday, the Saturday Morning Show. I'm your host, Chris Brand. And today we're going to talk about not one figure, but two. We're going to talk about the Marvel Legends retro, Peter Parker, and the Marvel Legends Retro, Spider-Man. And spoiler alert, Peter Parker is Spider-Man if you didn't know that. Now you do. Marvel Legends Spider-Man Peter Parker includes a half Peter Parker, half Spider-Man head sculpt and a camera. Okay, what we have here is the all new, all different Marvel version of, P of Peter Parker. And we have, of course, the retro wave and then we have the ultimate peter parker i like how this is like the middle one I think he's what maybe 12 or 14 here or something i don't know 15 maybe hey guys this is you know he's in college messing with high school students yeah yeah gwen gwen stacy's in high school peter i'm gonna let that ride and this when he leveled up he got smooth he looks like Charlie Sheen right here but um this is the all new Spider-Man from that Toys R Us 2 pack with Mary Jane this thing is $199 on eBay the stock went up on that yeah wow <laughs> $199 that's crazy but the articulation um it's I mean, it's it's okay, believe it or not. Because you can still get him in those semi-Spider-Man poses. And you can get him swinging. Swinging. So let's go over the articulating points of this figure. Vertical, horizontal, shoulder, rotating bicep, double elbow. Wide hands. Wide hands because that camera's thick. Rotating wrist, ab crunch forward back rotating waist groin articulation rotating thigh double knee and you have the f ankle which is the swivel hinge back and forth but it's a good parker it's a good peter parker i'm not mad at this figure 
Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man includes a squinting Spider-Man head and two web shooting hands. We're going to talk about Spider-Man's articulation, but before we get into that, I want to bring up some of the older figures and how they were articulated. Uh, as you can see, this first one, I I was satisfied with it because it was skinny and it would, it it was the size of Spider-Man to me. Spider-Man is a skinny guy. But my issues with it were like the arms would wear off. Like I have my Spider-Man 2009 figure and that arm is done. Like I have to keep putting in, putting that arm back into the socket because of the wear in the, in the shoulder butterfly joint area. However, they did make some major improvements with this PS4 with the Spider-Man video game version because I like the way it was articulated. Um, it's based off the, we call it the Sunfire Buck, right? So the Sunfire Buck is, you know, it's more of an athletic build, not as skinny as I'd like to see Spider-Man, but it was a solid figure and it articulated well and it was very poseable. It had, you were able to put it in good poses. But then earlier this year, the superior Dr. Octopus, the superior octopus figure, I thought that was amazing. I feel like they should articulate the Deadpools like this. This should be, Superior Ox should be the buck for the Deadpool figures because this is very, it's nimble um, and, it, and it still looks clean. Hasbro blessed us with this new Spider-Man figure. It's very similar to the Marvel Legends Beast figure that we reviewed earlier. If you take a look at this, Let's start from that head to toe. Stand, the, I'm not even gonna say standard. Look how look how high that neck goes. Look how high that goes. My only issue with it is I feel like this bar in here, if you keep switching the heads, you may break that. I don't know how sturdy that is, but it feels like it'll break depending on how you know the weather if you're if it's cold that's going to be hard plastic so you keep taking it off you're going to snap that so be careful with that guys i advise you to use some hot water on that you know so vertical horizontal now we get to the shoulders which isn't anything new because the superior octopus in the ps4 has the same articulation but when you go to the back, it's 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 wider. It's it's you can you can put the arms closer. See the difference in that? This would almost be good for a Dakin Wolverine Sun buck too. This is a good buck right here. This is a real good buck. Um, but then you have anyway back to spider-man you have this now you have the of course you have your elbows i mean elbow of course you have your <laughs> your shoulder your hinge shoulder up and down rotating bicep double elbow hinge and rotating wrist now you have an upper ab crunch almost mid 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 top of the torso crunch that can it rotates this is the rotating articulation and then you have the ab crunch back and forth so they've really outdone themselves with this because you can get spider-man in these amazing poses look at that like he has that nice like Spider-Man crouches. He's a spider. And then from there you have the drop. Like if you look in here, usually the the ball kind of stays there, the ball hinge, but these drop. Similar to the G.I. Joe figures. See how that drops? Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Of 
course, the rotating thigh, double knee, calf rotation, calf rotation in here. And then you have the ankle hinge and forward and back, making this probably the, this is easily, I'm not even gonna argue with anyone. This is the best Spider-Man. This is the part where I give my, my grade. The Peter Parker, I'll grade the Peter Parker first. The Peter Parker, it, it was a, it's a good figure, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really stand out, and I can almost see it being a peg warmer. I, we'll see. I haven't been out in the streets yet. Tell me what you guys is it is it a peg warmer, or is it gonna be a quick pick? Because it is a Peter Parker, and that other Peter Parker figure from the two pack is a hundred and ninety nine dollars. I don't know. As a collector, I definitely um, recommend having this figure in your collection. It's a good Peter Parker. It's the Steve Ditko look. It comes with the, uh, well, you've seen it. You've seen it. I'm not even gonna re, re, re talk about it. Nevertheless, my final grade is a 6.5. It's, it's an average figure. Nothing to, nothing to jump through hoops for or go crazy. However, however, that Spider-Man figure. Put that put that Spider-Man figure up there. Oh my god. This is easily the best Spider-Man figure at this price range. The articulation is just beautiful and it does not take away from the figure at all. Remember the old Toy Biz uh, Spider-Man with all that articulation, they would tend to get loose and they just look very flimsy with all those with all the cuts in it. This is the best Spider-Man not only, this Spider-Man isn't a top 10 figure for 2020, it's a top five figure. I'm putting him in my top five. And guess what, his final grade is a 10. Good morning. Yes. yes, he's a 10. If you have any smoke with that, tell me in the comment section, let me know. Nevertheless, this is also the end of the show. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you appreciate what I'm doing because I appreciate you guys. Like I always say at the end, I take photos, I'm on Instagram. Hit me up, Saturday mornings, Saturday underscore mornings on IG. Come check your boy out, follow me, I'll follow back. And that's it, I learned a new trick because I gotta go down to this, to the Bega Bar district. Space is crazy, guys, it's so crazy. And I don't wanna come off like I'm bragging, but I'm having a good time up here. It's too crazy on earth right now. I'm about to go to the Bagel Bar system and just have a ball. They're so cool. And the alien women are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They have like, their eyes are, it, it, never mind, I don't even want to get into it. Anyway, here's my new trick. Let me get out of here.